Right, so first things first, you're gonna want some money for Sir Stewart here. If there's anything I can do, blah blah blah, leave it to me. I don't know if I if you can help, but just listen to this. I spent some 30 years working hard in this house. That's all I do, but my one hobby is reading. There's a really valuable and rare book that's up for auction at the moment. People are fighting over it. I believe a bid of a thousand guild would be enough. But I don't have the kind of funds. If I were to ask my master, he'd be app appalled and I'd probably have to resign. You know, it's funny how much uh, Max's dad acts like he's such a, you know, you know, uptight person who's like, you know, proud of society, but really he's kind of a dickhole. So you're my only hope. Blah, blah, blah. He wants us to give him money. The price has gone up to 1200 Okay. But could you possibly get a hold of... Yeah, okay, so keep talking to him. This is terrible. There's someone who will pay 800,000 gilda. If I don't bid about 2,000 gilda, there's no way I'll win. So, did you manage to get 2,000 gilda? Uh, what can I do? It's yours. Thank you so much. I'll go straight down to the auction. Alright, so come back and go back inside the room. And he is back. Thank you very much. I managed to make a successful bid. A bid strong strong and everyone else dropped out really quickly so I got it for 400 or 1400 gilda so you can have your 600 back and I will work hard from now on to repay the rest of my money I borrowed I know I put you to a lot to a lot of trouble I'll repay the favor in any time and he joined our party very awesome very awesome indeed so uh since we're here I don't think you can do anything nope if I had a camera I'd snap a shot of Linda right when she raises her front leg what Oh, is that... Oh, no, Linda the, the elephant. I'm like, wow, that's kind of... Seems kind of dirty there. <laughs> that was my first thought. It's like, Jesus, what kind of fucking gossipers are these people? Okay, so this little shit decided to hide in my room. All right, you little kid. Oh, you found me. I'm getting a bit fed up with this now. Hiding is actually really boring. Oh, well, let me go off on your adventure then. All right, Corrine joined our party. Sweet. All right, then, so we have Stuart... And Corrine. Nice. Alright, so we have three more people to go. And I don't know where all of them are. So, um, I know where two are, and that's it. You know what? I think I know where the other one is. I think it's in the direction of another. Actually, I think they're all in the same direction, so. Alright, we are going to come down here. And we get one of these cool areas in the house. Oh no, this is not what I was looking for. Damn. Father always makes me sit across the room. Bastard. One day I'll get him. I'll get all of them. All right, no, okay. I think I'm off on the rooms here. I haven't, I, I haven't played this game like I said in two years. Um, well, besides trying to let's play it, but I never got this far into the let's play, so it's not that room. I think it's down here. Ooh, I'll take a picture of this piano. Why not? Okay, then this is the room. I love this room. Don't ask why. I don't even know why there's has like this rainfall effect to it, but it's a very pretty room. So, do we have to go through it again, I think? No, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Okay, somebody should be in this room, and I'm probably going to have to change the time again to get them in here. So, uh, I will be right back when they come back. Yeah, how's your Let's Play going, Mike? Yeah, it's going well. You know you suck at Let's Playing? Yeah, I know. Fuck off. Go. Oh. We are back, guys, and we got ourselves here, Granny. What was that? Can't you talk a bit more slowly? And we literally have to spell out "Let's go together." And I always forget if I need the fucking uh. Oh, is that what it's asking for? What is the symbols? No, there's three there. Okay. So yeah, it's fucking annoying. So I will cut out me spelling it and I will show you guys the right way to spell it just in case I do it wrong. So let's go together. Okay guys, so I think this is the way you have to spell it. If not, we're gonna need quotes in the middle and that's gonna piss me off. Let's go together. Yes. An adventure, that'd be nice. Okay, I got it. Thank God. Because if you spell that wrong at all, you need the period at the end. You don't need quotes around it though. Uh, capitalizations, if you don't do that right, she will not join you and it sucks. What use can an old woman like me be? Granny Rosa joined your party. Awesome. So there's Granny out of the way, and we got two more people to go, guys. Ooh. Okay, so now we need two more. Alrighty then. So after you actually go to the, um, the forest, this one should be easy. 
Ah, good timing. There's something I wanted to talk to you. Oh, no, no, no. You're flounder, sir. I'm sure you know what I'm making. Unusual sweets from around the world as part of my research. No, I'm not going to do that. I've heard that there's a sweet called Kastaga Nak uh, Nako? Is that like a real thing or is that a made-up thing? Which is made of something called Castanarna. I've managed to find out that Castanarna grows on the same kind of trees as chestnuts. So I thought I might as well try using chestnuts instead, but it's really weird. Chestnuts are sold out all over town. Apparently the mayor's bought them all or something. Don't suppose you could help me out? Uh... Oh, I get the joke, because the clown- Oh, roasted chestnuts, my favorite. Did you get a hold of any chestnuts? And yep, I actually got tons of fucking chestnuts here. Hopefully it doesn't take them all. Uh, oh, nope, only one. Awesome. Yeah, those things are good healing items, so I'm happy I got a bunch of those. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. Now I can try to make some castanaco. I'll let you try some as soon as we're ready. Actually, is there anything I can do in return? What? You want me to go with you on an adventure? <laughs> of course I will. Why don't you just ask in the first Why didn't you just ask in the first place? Yeah, fuck you, dude. I've always had to go back and fucking... I, I've always been pissed off at stuff like that. It's like I had to go back to the forest to go find a goddamn chestnut. And it's like, why didn't you just ask in the first place? I'm gonna slap you, motherfucker. With the ring finger, and I don't wear... Or the ring hand, and I don't wear a ring. Okay, now I think it's this person next. I see, I really wish that I could help you more than anything. But I don't have any confidence in myself. I always seem to give up halfway, and I've never seen anything through. When I was little, I dreamed about becoming a tailor, and I tried many times to make something, but I never completed a single garment. If I went with you, I'm sure I'd just get in the way. So sorry, but no. Oh dear, she lost all her confidence. This is no good. Let's go ask her to try to make clothing for us again. Yes, if I try again, and this time manage to complete something, maybe I'll believe in myself again. But I don't have the materials I need. Maybe you'll be able to get them for me? Uh, basically all the materials, which are, actually, I think it's very similar to the, uh, Rypod stuff. Don't ask why. <laughs> uh, here, have these. Thank you very much. Now I'll try to make some clothes. I won't let these go to waste. All right, come back. Oh. oh. I think you have to leave the room and come back. I'm not really, f I don't know, like, these aren't that bad once you know what to do, but I remember when I was a kid, I used to always think that these kind of things you actually had to, like, leave for, like, a day or two to fucking come back. And I was too damn stupid to realize that a day me, you know, not a video, not a whole day. Ah, uh, Max, I finally completed a garment. I didn't want to let the materials you gave me go to waste, and that kept me going to the end. I'm not completely, I'm not completely satisfied with it, but would you wear it anyway? Alright, green overalls. Oh, it's so great to have something, f uh, finish something. Now I feel much more confident. I'll do my very best, I'll do the very best I can, so please take me with you. Alright, and she joins our party. And that is the last person, folks. And she gives us the green outfit, which we saw in the, uh, we could pick out. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Alright, so now we're gonna move to Sedan. Okay, we got 20, we got 20 more minutes we can spare. We can try building some areas in the game. Alrighty then, so we're gonna go to Sedan Station, and we are going to, uh, show you guys all the people. Alrighty then, so I'm actually gonna go to the front of the train, and I will probably add these people to the party so you guys know exactly what they do. Alrighty then, so now we're going from the top of the train to the bottom to show you everybody. Oh, here's Ferdinand, uh, View Abilities. Makes premium chicken, we'll sell you recovery items. Now, I think some of these guys upgrade their equipment as you go along the journey, but right now she will only sell us, uh, chicken, which is, uh, fully restores health. But if you add her to the party, come on, add to the party. Yeah, look at that, mmm, she will cook you food. Which, oh, wrong button character no not switch to monica view status order something order something now she has a little bit more so uh you can come back to her a little bit more often her him i think ferdinand's a him my bad uh you will get chicken one chicken for each which you know works out for me sadly i don't like the placement of the bone because it makes it look like 12 and i don't like that so yep there's ferdinand and that chicken is good shit, so, uh, yeah, anytime you get the chance to, come back to Ferdinand. This is the cool thing as you start going through and getting more people, you can just keep coming through here and building up your equipment and the amount of stuff you get. There's Melaine, which we've seen, and oh, hey, we got Stuart and Adele. Adele, you can actually buy, uh, fruit for, view abilities, uh, gradually raises, d uh, WHP of the unequipped weapons. Yes, let's say you're going through the dungeon and you run out of repair powder and your wrench is down to, like, 20. Uh, equipped a different wrench and then as you go through the dungeon you will actually gain the uh the uh, weapon back which is pretty cool and she will sell you fruit and these fruit can actually be pretty damn important 
because you'll get things such as these heart throbbing cherries which as i've said uh stop uh does the cure thing uh petrifies the enemy when thrown makes gooey i love gooey peaches uh poison apples and then mellow banana now the issue with this is that it will um this will give you a good heal but it will make you thirsty so if you buy this you're gonna want a bunch of uh tasty water to come with it oh which she sells too awesome so yeah i haven't really used these but i like gooey peaches and yeah there's that i find it weird that she has fruit and he's actually pretty cool view abilities heals you automatically so i think that means you get a free heal while you're with him he, nothing heals you automatically okay so i think you just heal up uh, slowly as you go through the dungeon okay that's kind of cool um, unless there's something else, I will actually look. Okay, my thing didn't tell me anything specific, so we're just gonna go with the fact that he kind of heals you a little bit as you go through the game or something. I don't get why they have skill points if they can't do anything to, but whatever. And he will also... Oh, he's in our party. God damn it. I didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, send back to train. Yes, please. And he's back. Okay. And he will sell his shoes. Uh, as I've said before, costumes do absolutely nothing but uh, look good. So, I mean, if you think the dragon shoes look cool... Which, uh, fuck it, I'll say they look cool. Why not? Dragon shoes, baby. Why not? <laughs> Alright, here's Aunt Polly. Who I believe her inventory is the same as before with bread and stuff. Sadly, she doesn't sell you crunchy bread. I hate that. That you just can't get it again. Or if you can, it's like through making it or something and not from her. And if you add her to the party... She'll make you bread. And a lot of it. Now, sadly, you usually get a lot of bread if you go through certain areas, but if for some reason you're getting low on bread, which I'm not at all, uh, come to her. She will help you out, and you won't have to pay for a penny. And she makes a lot of it, too. If I remember correctly, it's around four, or uh, not four, uh, no. Six. No, I'm off on my numbers, but it's a lot. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Uh, send that only back to the train? Yes, and I don't believe her abilities have anything else. Nope, we'll sell you ingredients. Nice. Uh, Mayor Need. He's a big boy. View abilities. Increases money after defeating enemies. Yes. If you want good money, when you're, uh, let's say you're leveling for some reason and you don't have, whatever you're leveling, you don't have whatever you need for it, but you have mere need, uh, you can get some extra cash out of it, which is pretty cool. So, yep. And he exchanges metals. Yes. Uh, where is it? Exchange metals. Those metals you've been collecting? Dish motherfucker. So, he actually has unique costumes, such as the clown outfit for Max and the princess dress for Monaco. Also, a panther assembly for a sexy lady. Uh, whether or not, I'm, I mean, since they have this, I'm guessing Monica's 16, because in Japan, 14 is uh, legal consent in Japan. So, uh, say what you want about that. I can't say, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I hate it. It's actually the most expensive, because they know you fucking want it. <laughs> you, you, you dirty people out there. But, no, I mean, this is there for you. It's just, it's a weird panther costume, whatever. Um, I don't really plan on getting these, but, I mean, if I if I do decide to go through and get a lot of the medals in the game, I'll think about it, so. I mean, I'm not getting any of the clown outfit, that just looks dumb. Princess Aura, which is pretty cool. Uh, Kitty Bell, which is for the panther thing. Uh, Princess Boot, and then the panther boots. And the name change ticket, a ticket that lets you change names. I have no clue what this does. I bought this originally in my original Let's Play, hoping it would do something, and I have no fucking clue. So, yeah. So anyway, yes, these are what the medals are for. Uh, if that wasn't good enough for you, then don't do the medals. I'm kind of happy they don't do anything too important with them, just extra things. Um, if anything, actually, a lot of these things cost the same. What I could do to show them off for almost any of them is that I could sell, I could um, get a bunch of medals, and then I could uh, buy them individually through saves and then show them off. If I keep any of them, I think I would keep the princess outfit for Monica. Just because, I, I you know, I think it looks cool. I mean, cool might not be the best word, but close enough to it.